Man, look, I love The Flash. That's why I know so much about his ass. I read a lot about his ass. But I want y'all to think about something. If this motherfucker can run at light speed all the fucking time, right? Then he shouldn't have to build up to do the damn infinite mash punch. He should just be doing them bitches every time. But he can't. He literally has to build up for that shit. He don't pull this stunt very often. It's incredibly dangerous. Near infinite mass can easily deform space time itself. I can't hold it for more than an instant, but when I back it with just the right amount of vibrational energy, it becomes the mightiest punch in the multiverse. That is a flash fact, because as certain characters, he just can't fucking fight like that. He can't just off top go that fucking fast. For him to get stronger, he has to do that attack. Like I say the anti-monitor, like he says, I can't take on the anti-monitor like I would Captain Cole, Wallace, and I are both gnats to him. So when he hit him right, he literally had to keep doing that shit, running around the world, keep that shit built up. And he was sitting there speed blitzing this motherfucker. He said, don't let him up. Don't let up, Barry. Keep knocking him through reality after reality. Keep him disorientated. Don't hesitate. Don't blink. Don't give him a single chance to play offense. So at this point, he's moving fast as fuck like y'all be thinking. For every second he has tortured you on this lethal treadmill, hit him 50 times. A hunter. It's working. He can't get his bearings. My God, I can win this. <laughs> hit his ass. That stopped the momentum. Now you're fucking him up. This goes for Superman too, the build up. You see Superman right here? He's saying, what? Impulse is like, this is going to take all day. We were slingshotted to this speed by the speed force. I'm sure with enough time, Superman might be able to catch up. But right now, it must all look like a blur to him right now. Later, he did kind of catch up. You see him at the bottom right now uh, with his hands? He kind of grabbed these goddamn dogs tail. That's all he did. Now, why did I bring all that up? All right, let's go look at Quasar issue 58, where they had Barry Allen in this motherfucker. This is the second time that him and Makari was racing. And Makari had to beat the slowest guy in this race by hopping on one leg. Over here, he called himself fast forward because he couldn't remember his name and it was better than Buried Alien, AKA Barry Allen because he can't remember his fucking name. Yes, he was faster than all these motherfuckers. If you pause the read, he just took himself out the race to go save somebody and let them two race, which Makari actually beat the runner. But when he did though, and he had met up with the damn, uh, the road runner and shit, he left. And he noticed that everybody was like statues and shit. That's because he was taught by this damn alien race that they move all fast as fuck how to enter hyperspeed. And now his uh his perceptions is at hyperspeed. Accelerated perception is what they call it. The only people that can be there with him is speedsters like him, or they call it the super fast, or people that can control time and space. Barry was one of them motherfuckers, which we've seen currently in the one minute war. And to get to that speed, he had to build the fuck up. For instance, when Barry finally got the call from Wallace that he needed help, it took him a second to get there, and he didn't just instantly fucking get there. Soon as that ice grenade shit went off, he flew his ass through that shit. And like he even said, that was too fucking close. Way too close. And there's actually a reason why he couldn't go this fucking fast to get there and fucking save everybody. Because if a normal human reaches certain speeds, their eyeballs could burst. Like when he was chasing this dude who was dimensional jumping. Just like with Scarlet Witch down here, and she was dimensional skipping. Wally couldn't keep up. He'd be right there every time, but the motherfucker couldn't catch his ass. You can see, he was trying to catch him. He had to chase him to the end of the fucking existence and shit. The end of the universe. Where time ends and reality is being made. Now, there is a villain that don't need to build up. Hunter Zulliman. He's not like the Flashes who's connected to the Speed Force. He don't challenge it, uh, channel it the way they do. In fact, he have no tether to the Speed Force despite him being there. He tried to use the Flash's uh, tra cosmic treadmill to change the past, but it blew up in his face, shifting him out of his sink with the timeline, which is how he's here right now, which technically would be the bleed because that's where the damn Speed Force is located. Shown and stated in issue 32 of Harley Quinn, the current run, this is the bleed. The bleed is not firmly defined, and uncharted travels find one in the radio lands of KY, uh, KWYZZ. The unbearable fires of apocalypse, the bone-shattering vibrations of the uh, speed force. Bro exists outside of time now. Meaning, although, although it appears to others that he's moving at super speed, in truth, he's controlling how quickly or slowly the timeline passes by him. He can even completely stop it. Meaning, time revolves around him flowing like a river as he stands, and he controls the current. That is Zoom. 
and this is a side note for the video he finally left the speed force and came back to uh central city the greater the villain the greater the hero that's why he can never stop until wally west is the perfect hero we should be seeing him in the current run going back to the main point we seen uh wally get his new power in the last issue of the last run issue 800 while on a date with linda he kept fucking taking off and shit every blink every glance at that watch he's giving linda the night she deserves because he she wanted to go out with him with no powers so 16 seconds ago he felt reality wobble the speed force the energy that gives his powers it hiccup so he started running right he said he shifted 200 miles in three microseconds tracking a disturbance to his source he said he'd be quicker but he's full of pasta and don't want to get all sweaty but the hiccup was bait someone wanted his ass to come thundering in this direction he ricocheted off a membrane like a pinball bumper of uh for migraines splinters of itself and sensation peeled off like a uh, life spindrum in a uh, tidal wave he is shredded there ain't no other word this is where he gets his new power as you can see with the blob shit around him he's out of sync of reality sur sur surrounded by teeming things that smell like bad math but even here in between some things never change there's always some jerk word to kick a uh waiting to kick a guy when he's down the motherfucker that did it was mirror master he can mirror his speed that membrane when he bounced off it it tore loose a spectrum of the speed forces energies and it's all flowing to him too so at this point wally feeling the damn effects of speed he forgot how much speed hurts without a damn cheat code for the law of physics right here he's telling himself to think think this goes to that super uh, fucking thinking shit y'all keep talking about because he says, how many times have you tried to beat that super scientist in imposter syndrome? Speak uh, reading in the uh, Keystone Library. There must be something. So he finds this damn door and he runs at it. It's an atomic mirror. He busts out that bitch. That's when he finally sees this motherfucker in real life. He said, all right, means my uh, everything is good. It means my ore is refreshing, accelerating space time around me, closing my wound. This goes into that if you take him to a different dimension, he loses his speed force. Mirror Master was amped though. He had some tech that was way beyond anything that he expected. Either way, it's cosmic tear trouble in the hands of that motherfucker. So he punches the motherfucker, then he runs all the way over to the fucking central height. This is where he started glitching through reality, right? And he says it, that mirror, that damn mirror, it stirred up a new power. He came back, fucked up everything, because he was going too damn fast. And she got up and left. Anyway, this video is to teach y'all about the Flash and how the fuck they speed work. They don't just instantly be at these fucking speeds, man. That shit is fucking dangerous as fuck to them. Even with the cheat code shit.